have been retail theft task force missions going on right there in our area, including one just earlier this month in an effort to catch thieves in the act. Today, we also learn the district attorney's office was able to indict at least four high profile theft suspects. Now to Jamie Seymour live tonight after digging deeper. Jamie. Liz, detectives believe just between these four individual suspects that they are collectively responsible for nearly $50,000 worth of stolen items just in the last few months. Whether you're a business owner or a shopper, the increased brazenness of thieves is becoming all too common. Causing significant financial harm for our Oregon businesses. It's driving costs higher for customers. Organized retail crime continues to hit the state hard as Oregon business and industry estimates it has cost Oregon nearly one and a half billion dollars in economic activity. In the past year, we've seen major retailers like Walmart and Target shutter stores in Portland. This past session, lawmakers passed a bill going into effect in the new year with harsher penalties for organized retail crime. Also making clear these aren't petty shoplifters. Well, organized retail theft is designed to get people that are doing this over and over and over again. It is a business for them and uh, it's higher value items. You know, they're doing it uh, across multiple transactions. On Thursday, the Multnomah County DA announced that the newly established organized retail theft task force resulted in indictments of four high profile suspects. Jerry Spencer accused of at least 16 incidents with more than 12,000 in stolen goods from Nike, Target and Old Navy. Nolan Harris was indicted last month for more than 7,500 in goods stolen from REI. Tanner Macon accused of stealing more than $18,000 of stuff from Patagonia. And Michael Morgan indicted for at least seven cases of theft with more than $10,000 in items from Dick's Sporting Goods. In a recent shoplifting mission between the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office and Portland Police, officers said a big goal of this is to prevent stores from leaving. Community members need to have these stores available to them to, to shop, do their shopping. One of the suspects, Jerry Spencer, is set to appear in court early tomorrow morning. Future court dates have not yet been set for some of the other recently indicted suspects, but we will continue to follow up on all of the efforts made by this new task force. Reporting live in South Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. Jamie, thank you. And now to